वर्णिवे शर्मणीय दर्शन मंदहासुचिराज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित श्री हरिकृष्ण महाराज जय इन दिस डिवाइन असेंबली डिवाइनली प्रेजेंट आवर सुप्रीम लॉर्ड स्वामी नारायण आवर बिलउड गुरु जी ऑल द सेंट्स एंड डिवोटिस जय स्वामी नारायण God has given us this priceless human birth. After attaining this human body, we have done so many works and in innumerable births which we have taken in our previous life we have done so many things but one thing is remain and that is to worship god and that is why we are here today after attaining this human body only enjoying the sensual pleasure is not the meaning of this body but to worship god is the main purpose of being a human otherwise what is the difference between an animal and a human if we only drink eat sleep enjoying the sensual pleasure sensual gratification all these things are <clears throat> enjoy by the animals birds and all other species of living beings but a dog cannot worship god buffalo cannot chant the hymns of god cow cannot enter into the mandir he cannot have darshan of god but only human who can worship god who can sing the glories and kirtans of god if a human desire to meditate then he can meditate upon the form of god so after attaining this human body our main purpose of being a human is to worship god and after after a last moment of this body after death it is our goal to reach in the bar of god but we all desire to worship god remember god but most of us don't know how to remember god how to worship god there are so many ways in the scriptures and there are so many ways in the hinduism to attain god but in our sampraday we have unique philosophy we don't believe we don't believe to attain god after death because we have attained the form of god in this very life <clears throat> shri ji maharaj himself said in the vachanamrut that i forever reside in the eight types of form means eight types of idol and in the sant i forever reside so whenever we see any form of god in any temple we have to remember these divine words of god 
and at that time we have to cultivate a conviction in the form of god that this is not only the form this is the god himself but at the same time some question arise in our mind why this god cannot speak with us why this god not say anything to us but god listen our prayer god always accept what we offer him while staying in his idol but our vision is not such that we can visualize all the things god even say much more thing to us but we cannot listen it we cannot have such divinity in our ears so that we can listen the divine words of god and that is why god had decided to give us his another form his form in the form of guru in the form of sant so beside the eight types of form we have another form of god and that is sant <coughs> now as we have we are gathered here for worshiping god for discussing about the form of god the question arises that how we start what is the first step to reach the top in any spiritual sect journey start with the first step and that is the surrender unto the feet of bona fide guru when one approach such spiritual master and act exact according what the guru says then one definitely find the path of liberation and one can easily walk on that path and finally have a realization of god while living in this world there are so many such things in spirituality and the main goal of after attaining this satsang is to constant contemplation on the form of god while starting journey in first vachanamrut god says the most important thing and the most unattainable thing is to constant contemplation on the form of god this is not done in one day we have to practice for this for so many days so many months so many years and then after we will attain the constant contemplation on the form of god so we all we are not the master we are a student and as a student we all <coughs> we all need to do practice for constant contemplation in the form of god but many times when we try to see the form of god in our heart there are so many bad thoughts which we call it disturbing thoughts arise in our mind and so that due to this disturbing thoughts we cannot think over the form of god nor we can think for our liberation 
or any other spiritual aspects. So such disturbing thoughts are the main demon in our path of liberation, in our path to reach our goal that is constant contemplation on the form of God. So our first need is to eradicate such disturbing thoughts which occur while meditating on the form of God. But how can we remove such disturbing thoughts from our heart? Even especially when we try to meditate on the form of God. Because in the world, the people always busy in thinking over their sensual gratification their family, their body and so many other economic and social problems. But only a few people who can <coughs> busy to think over the spiritual aspect and out of them only a very countable persons who can try to meditate on the form of God, who can even try to think on the form of God, for the form of God. Now the question is that, how we can remove these uh, disturbing thoughts <clears throat> Simple logic is that outside from this house, outside from this temple, everywhere the snow, right? But still we are here in the temple. We can sit, we can live here in normal temperature. Similarly, think our own position. Freezing cold or the snow is all worldly thoughts. And one who engages himself in talking about God, listening about God, and engage himself constantly thinking about the glory of God in Sadhu then automatically he can live in this satsang like this room temperature. So it is most necessary thing in our spiritual life to talking about the glory of God, thinking about the glory of God and listen about the glory of God. And that is why this discourse is the main meaning of this discourse is not to change ourself, but just keep our vritti on the form of God. But when we have a master, when we have a bona fide guru, or when we have a sadguru sant then we can easily listen him, listen his lectures, his discourse, and then we can try to grasp what they say and try to imbibe in our lives. And then in this way, we can have a constant contemplation in the form of God. But when the master is not available, the speaker is not readily available for us, at that time, what we can do? At that time, we have divine words of such Sadguru with us. If we have written, 
when we meet when we listen any time our sadguru and if we have written such words his divine words so such words will help us but if we have no such practice to write what our master said then we sometimes put ourselves in some misbehaving situation <coughs> forget the thing if we have not written what our master had said us but a characteristic of a staunch duty a good student is not only written uh, not to write what the master says but he always remember in his mind what his master says him and then again and again repeat in his mind and through this process finally a stone duty a stone student acquire such qualities in his life we are not such stones duty of our master so we have we are not conscious we are not such sincere student of our master and so we are not writing what our master says this is our deficiency but before a 200 years a stone's duty that is bal mukundas ji swami has written all the things what his master had said and he has composed the book and that is we have the book we all loved it we all know his title that is gunaditanan swami nivato master is great the duty is the great both were the great persons gunaditanan swami who was at the time was the head of swami narayan mandir junagadh one of the biggest temple at the time of gujarat so normally he has so many administrative work so many other activities for the temple but still after even he has such busy schedule he has so many times for discussing about the glory of god he has so much time to seeing the glory of sadhu similarly we even today our master our guruji even after busy in the service of the whole sect because he was the he is the such high position that he has to manage for 45 big temples and i think 1200 about 1200 small temples around the world and so uh, about 400 cents he has to manage such things still he has time to speak about god he has time to attend parans he has a time he has time to worship god he has time to engage himself 
in the discourse of god and sometime we cannot attain the assembly and while I, when some sant or the devotee ask us why are you not coming today then what we say i am busy i am busy with my work i am busy with my business i am busy in my job so i have no time we have no such duty we have no such top level management or administrative work and still we are busy how can we worship the god how can we walk on the path of liberation how can we understand the real glory real divinity of the satsang if we have no time see everybody has only 24 hours in a day one who engage himself in satsang he has not 25 or 30 hours he has also 24 hours but he can manage his time for worshiping god engage in satsang he has also the another things another work like us job eating sleeping all the things but still he can manage he can manage his time this is the funda- fundamental things this is the necessary and if we cannot spare time for god then how can god remember us how can god help us while we pray in our time of some difficulties at the time god says i have no time let it be we are thinking about how we can remove the uh, remove the disturbing thoughts from our mind if we engage ourselves in the satsang then the power of this satsang is such that whether the thoughts it whether the thought is thought has so many powers but the power of this satsang is such that it can remove all these disturbing thoughts from our heart because this is the word of god in 30th vachana prakara first chapter if someone sincerely practices satsang and reflects upon and tries to imbibe the discourse relating to god then his wild thoughts are eradicated if we have trust in the words of god then satsang only can remove our bad thoughts and if bad thoughts removed then we can easily if we desire if we practice then we can easily contemplate upon the form of god 24 into 7 for this let we knock the door of gunatitanan swami and ask him what we are uh, what we should do on the path of liberation on the on the spiritual way so that we can easily contemplate upon the form of god we can easily stay in the satsang let we go to gunatitanan swami first of all gunatitanan swami when we reach to gunatitanan swami gunatitanan swami instruct us he gives us instruction first of all forget all the things all the worldly things
stop to think of your bodies of your relatives of your possessing stop such things and then contemplate for a while in your heart the divine form of god then then should contemplate that gunadatanan swami himself talking before me he is instru- instructing me you should do this and you should not do this in this way listen to swami nivato let us start in this way that gunadatanan swami himself talking us Swami says all shall always talk and listen about the glory of God and sadhu This is what the first sentence we have from the Gunatitanan Swami We shall always talk and listen about glory and uh, glory of God and sadhu But the most intellectual person cannot accept what even the great says directly if you say him that this is the reason behind this sentence then intellectual person accept otherwise they ask why why i'm talking about the glory of god and sadhu first thing is that if we are try to remove such wild thoughts from our heart then we have to engage our mind in other way so that our mind stop to think on worldly things so this is the normal logic but the another thing is that while come in the temple or start this satsang engage ourselves in satsang first of all we have to change our attitude we have to develop our mind in such a way that our mind always think positive when we have positive attitude when we have no fault finding attitudes then god please upon us and due to the grace of god we can easily meditate upon the form of god no kind of disturbing thoughts disturb us so we have to cultivate positive attitude if we have a glass of water only a half glass of water then we ask a person most people say that half glass is empty but some people who has some positive attitude they says half glass a uh, half glass is full of water but this is not our way what our attitude our attitude our thinking for this example we have to think that not only the half glass full with water but the another half portion of that glass is filled with air this should be our thinking if we have such thinking we have such attitude then we can enjoy the divinity of this satsang even after seeing a 
ह्यूमन लाइक एक्शन ऑफ कार एंड साधु वी कैन नॉट फाइंड एनी फॉल्स इन हिम एंड वी एंजॉय डिविनिटी सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप दिस इज द मोस्ट नेसेसरी थिंग वाइल डूइंग सच संग नॉट टू फाइंड फ्लो एंड फ्लो इन एनी पर्सन एनी ड्यूटीज एंड ऑलवेज एंड फॉर दिस रीजन वी हैव नॉट टू स्पीक इल ऑफ ड्यूटीज वी हैव नॉट इट इज अवर ड्यूटी नॉट टू स्पीक एनी बैड थिंग्स इवन डन बाय ड्यूटी ऑफ गाड एंड वॉट ही हैज डन गुड वॉट द वर्चूज इन ड्यूटी दैट इज वॉट अवर ड्यूटी टू टाक एंड लिसन अबाउट नेक्स्ट स्वामी से श्रीजी महाराज हिमसेल्फ मैनिफेस्ट ऑन अर्थ विथ हिज अक्षरधाम हिज मुक्ताज हिज पार्सदाज एंड ऑल हिज डिवाइन पावर्स ही इज एज ही इज द सेम एज ही इज इन हिज अबार्ट today we are not such person like our ancient india the spiritual aspirant leave his home and went to the forest or went to any other place and performing very harsh austerities penance to attain the form of uh, attain the god we have not done these things even after even before attaining the satsang god himself by his merciful nature attain us he himself come to us otherwise it is it is not easy to realize the form of god in this human body niskuran swami had sung madhu tamaru mogu che jeevan janu chu te to sau ne thayo che songu jeevan janu chu why without performing any penance or any harsh austerities we have a form of god with us it is not like that sri ji maharaj is not present here as a human and so we have not the form of god he has given us his words as his form as he has said in he has written in shiksha patri madrupam iti madvani my words are my form while installing the form of hari krishna maharaj in vartal he had said there is not trans of difference amongst this form and the form which is in the aksardham in vachnamrut his words is his form he had said that i am for your reside in the heart of the sun in the second vachnamrut of gadda last chapter he says if a person develops conviction in the guru who is the manifest form of god in the same way that he has conviction in the non in the non manifest form of god then as a result he attains all the arts which are atten- described as attainable so we have to cultivate these things we have 
develop if we have not in our mind then we have to develop this conviction that god himself who is the supreme personality who is the supreme bhagwan swami narayan himself with us in the form of our guru when bhagwan want to say anything to us he will say us through our guru otherwise if god want to say anything to us and even we are standing before hari krishna maharaj and if god says but we we have no such divinity in our ears we have no such divinity in us that we can listen the words directly from god and that is why he has taken another form that is the form of sant form of guru if we want to instruct he if we want to direct on spiritual path then he will give us direction he will give us instruction from our guru this is the words of god not mine this is the fundamental things and that is why this is written in the first very first talk we have while still a live attain he who was to be attained after death so nothing demon left to be attained the 21st verse now the gurudev second chapter if a person realizes the glory of manifest god and his bhakt sant in exactly the same way as he realizes the glory of past avatars of god and past sadhus such as narad the sankadik etc then nothing remains to be understood on the path of liberation we have god so here bhagwan swami narayan says us two things must be understood on the path of liberation first thing is the supremacy of lord swami narayan we have attained the supreme person we have attained the supreme personality of godhead we have not attained any avatars like lord ram lord krishna but we have attained who is the master of lord ram or krishna and the another thing is that we have attained the sons who are far greater than the sons of past because the sons has direct contact with the supreme personality of godhead and the sons of past they have only contact with avatars then this is the way to understand the glory of sun the glory of god and when we understand and when we think over and over again and again on this topic the glory of sun and glory of god then some spiritual strength automatically come up in our heart so that we can easily walk on the path of liberation we can easily progress on this path and accept understanding such glory of god in sadhu one may and every in a thousand other ways one cannot gain spiritual strength now everything is right that we have to understand this glory 
but how can it says that we have understood such things what is the measurement the beautiful incident of the time of lord swami narayan god has remember in his divine discourse in the vachanamrut the service of uka khachar once in an assembly bhagwan swami narayan asked uka khachar how you worship the form of god how many murtis in your puja then uka khachar replied i have 500 murtis in my puja and for the whole day i i am i was busy in worshiping this form of god because i have 500 murtis in my puja then god inquired more information and then ukakhachar says while early morning after getting i clean the all i clean the way to go uh, to gela nadi because all the saints all panso paramhanso all 500 paramhansas used to go to bath to gela nadi and for that reason if the saints leg uh, saints are not uh, since were not hurt by the small pebbles and that is why i clean the way then after all the day i worship i service for the sadhu because they are the form of god this is what his understanding this is what his understanding of glory of sadhu then vachnam in vachnam prut sri jimara said one who has this attitude this intense yearning to service the sadhu then all of his bad thing in his life all his desires other than the form of god automatically removed from his heart and he has remain only desire for the form of god so if we understood such glory of god such glory of sadhu in the same way as uka khachar has then we have also attained such state that automatically our bad thoughts removed or desire other than the form of god automatically removed and we have only desire remain in our heart for the form of god and our goal or ultimate goal to constant contemplation in the form of god will easily be achieved because we have no any other desire this is what our duty and how can we understand such glory this is the last point how can we attain such glory in our life the only one way there is only one system to attain such glory to acquire such values in our life and that is to company of such sadhu without the company of great sadhu we cannot have such good qualities in our life now we already have attained the company of such great sadhus 
but now it is our duty to keep the company of such sadhu while understanding their greatness let we start from today removing the all flows from our heart try to see divinely not only the form of god but all the sadhus all the devotees and then we can experience divinity in this satsang this satsang is divine but it is our bad attitude it is our bad reason and due to these things we cannot experience divinity in this satsang otherwise god had says je madya che tamne te par che aksar thi we have attained the god which is beyond the limit of aksar we have attained this sadhu they are also beyond the aksar we have attained these devotees they are also beyond the aksar what is meaning of beyond the aksar that that is transcendental position in which the three guns of maya that is sattva raj and tam these three qualities of maya cannot even touch that person and that is the stage of divinity so all the things what we have attained all the form of god we have attained all are divine in conclusion from today from this discourse let we try to such things try to imbibe such things to cultivate in our life first thing never talk about any faults of a duty or a sadhu or any person and always speak virtues of god virtues of sadhu virtues of devotees another thing means second point understand the glory of our guru as we understand or as we understood the glory of god see try to see divinity in all the things what we have attained means in the form of god in the form of guru in the form of sadhu in the form of devotees third point is for understanding the glory of god and sadhu we have to keep company of a sadhu fourth point is to do service of sadhu like uka khachar and fifth last but not least that is to develop habit to write what our master what the sadhu says and not only in discourse not only in katha but also while we talking the sadhu or any other devotee and if we find some good things then we have to write it in our diary and read it again and again at least even once a day and then try to live like the like those words and after a month or after a year we can see what we have changed what is change in our life for this diary so this five point i have concluded from this discourse in last let we prostrate before gunatita anand swami touch his touch the dust from his feet and 
giving him, giving his giving him our words that we try to live what you have said we will try to live we will try to behave in such a way what you have described today that's it jay swaminarayan